New at noon, archaeologists looking for the south and west walls of the historic Alamo complex may have their first big find. A team announced this morning it had discovered an adobe brick wall. KSAT 12's Garrett Berger is live at the dig site on the west side of Alamo Street. Garrett, where did they find it? And is this the perimeter compound wall that they were looking for? Well, Mark, the actual spot where they found the wall, you can see right behind me in between those two plywood boxes. This whole area that's chain linked off is the actual dig site. Now, that's where they were expecting to find the west wall, but that doesn't mean that that's what they found. Now, the team said that they found adobe bricks. You can see them in these in these courtesy photos. You can see they're pretty big, about a foot or a foot and a half long, and they're at the right spot and location for the west wall, and it's definitely the outside. Alamo complex, the archaeological team says. The question is now, which part of the complex? They've only uncovered a few square feet of the wall, and they only uncovered it Friday. So the archaeological team doesn't yet have that answer. What we do know is we have an adobe brick wall feature, and that it is related to the structures somehow that were here. That could include the outer wall of the compound, but it could also include some of the rooms where the Native Americans lived outside the wall. The team says that they're going to be using archival maps and archaeological data to help determine what that wall was for, whether it was the exterior wall or a living quarters, as the lead archaeologist just mentioned. And they're still going to be digging at a second dig site across Alamo Street, but the focus is obviously going to be here right now. And from what the archaeological team is telling us, they didn't even have to go down that far to find the wall. What they're saying is they had to go down 58 centimeters. That's about 23 inches. So just above my knee. So right now, all it takes to find a little bit of history, go under some flagstone, some concrete, and a few inches of dirt, and there's a whole lot more of the Alamo left to be uncovered. Live at the Alamo Dig, Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.